Hey guys, what's going on? MasterFX here, and today I'm going to be going over another Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be covering how to give certain objects a glass effect. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create a glossy slash glass effect to text, um, and then also show you how to apply it to logos and just various other projects, um, you know, whatever you're working on. So. Uh, this is a really neat effect and I feel like a lot of you guys would enjoy to see this one because it can really make uh, certain images pop. So uh, jumping right into this, we're going to go ahead and start out with the text here. So create a new layer. Then I'm bring up my text tool. And we're just going to type in glossy. And then go ahead and do that. Now when you're doing this, uh, once you have your text in there, the first thing you want to do is create another new layer. You want to go in between these layers, you want to hold down your Alt key and going to click and that's basically going to create a clipping mask. Uh, if you don't have that option, just right click on the layer and then head over to create clipping mask. Now from here, what I like to do is you can either do a simple uh, overlay, just one color, or you can kind of bring it out using gradients. Um, preferably I like to use gradients. So head over to our gradient tool gonna select a nice uh, charcoal color slash black I'm gonna set it on radial and pretty much the type of gradient you want is personal preference um, I just like radial so let's go ahead and hold down my shift key and drag off here like so and now we're gonna go ahead and create that glass effect so in order to do this again we're gonna create another new layer we're gonna create another clipping mask to this and the reason being that we're creating a clipping mask to this one is so that what we're going to do is basically fill in a part of the uh, the text with white and the clipping mask allows it to just stay within the text so I'm going to head over to my rectangular marquee tool I'm going to show you guys uh, three different ways to do this on text so the first way we're just going to use our rectangle one I'm just going to quick and uh, click and draw a rectangle here and going to cover about half the text. You want to you don't want to cover any more than half. I'm going to right click and hit fill. Make sure it's selected on white and click okay. And then we can deselect that. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to create a layer mask onto our uh, our white overlay here. Let's get over to our bottom of our layers panel. Go ahead a layer mask. Then we're going to bring up our gradient tool. Going to select it on linear and you're going to go into your colors. And you're going to select the original one that goes from uh, black to white. Again, we're going to head over to our text. We'll hold down our shift key and we're going to drag up a little bit here. A little past uh, the top of it and let go. Like so. So there's the basic, uh, the first way to do it. Now if you don't like the exact look of this, you can always just go back and drag it higher and you'll get uh, a more of a faded look. Or you can head over to your opacity and just knock this down a little bit. So that's the first way. Now the second way is, we're going to again create a new layer, do our clipping mask, and this time we're going to head over to our elliptical marquee tool, and what this is going to do is basically add a circular, uh, more of a rounded gloss. So we're going to again drag out a nice shape here, covering half the text, we're going to right click, fill, white, deselect, and then again just add a layer mask. Remember our gradient and drag up, holding down the shift and let go. So there's the second way. This way kind of gives it more of a. Uh, I like this way a lot more because it's not so much a plain, just rectangular, glossy look. It gives it more of a, a standout look. So, and then the final way, if you really want to get customized with it, if you really want to make it personal, again create a new layer, clipping mask. But this time we're gonna bring up our pen tool. And what's going to allow us to do is that we can customly draw a shape. So if we go in here and we just click to drag a point, like so. And what I did for there is just get that nice little angle. So basically just click over here towards the end, holding continue holding down your left mouse button and then drag off to a diagonal direction. And then let go. Now the next part you're gonna run into with this is if you go over here to click, you'll get a really uh, bad outline. So in order to fix this problem, just head over to your last point that you clicked, hold down your control or your alt key, and click on that uh, your last point, and it will allow you to functionate uh, from that last point. Just so gonna go ahead and finish up and create that last one. We're going to right-click, go to fill, and select white, 
click OK and then basically just the same thing over add a layer mask and do your gradient effect like so alright now I'm going to show you guys some examples that you can use this effect on in multiple ways on some projects so uh, here's a logo there's my logo that I made for myself now as you can see right here in the middle I did the nice little glossy effect now what this allowed me to do is it basically brought out the whole image not only did it bring out uh, just make it pop but it also kind of gave it that more of a 3d effect so if we were to take it off here as you can see it's more of just a plain image like that it looks like it's just flat on the uh, flat on the ground but if we pop it back on there it adds that nice 3d effect so there's an example of how to add it to a logo and it can really just spice things up and just kind of uh, add your projects and make them look a lot better now the next step you can do for this is add it onto a YouTube background. Now this is becoming more of a popular effect and it's a really useful effect and I find that it helps bring out your images. So basically it's the same effect here. You create a clipping mask to your middle panels and then you just do your uh, your fill here on your white and then your gradient up. And as you can see we got a nice little example here of the nice little glossy effect and it really just helps bring out the YouTube background. So. Uh, there's some different examples of how to do your glossy overlay effect uh, so go out there try it on different projects and just kind of be creative with it there's tons of things you can do with this and it really just helps bring out your projects so anyways guys I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, take it easy